What's going on YouTube? You're chilling with Trainer Zabuza and today I've got a battle for you against my good buddy Santi and looking at his team, threats everywhere. Oh my gosh, threats, threats, threats. Now this is before Mega Gengar was banned so let's, we have to assume that that Gengar could be a Mega as well. But yeah, looking at the team, could be Mega Gengar, could be Mega Scizor, could be Mega Garchomp, any of those. And they're all viable sets to where they could either run Mega or they could run Choice Bands or Choice Scarfs or maybe substall. It's just a very big pain in the ass to try and figure out what it is. Rotom, which checks so much of my team. I mean, well, it's not really checks all of my team, but it's been such a hassle to deal with lately because the only things I have to reliably deal with it are Florgis and maybe Kangaskhan if it's at plus two. That's it. And if there's one thing I would kick myself about, it's that I did not take this Mamoswine seriously. I mean, I know it's a bulky attacker, but I know that it's like... I know it's fast, but it's not that fast, so I was pretty sure I could outspeed with Kangaskhan. I knew I could tank a hit with Age Slash. Uh, I could tank a hit with Tyrantrum, go for a Rock Slide or something. I probably wouldn't stay in in that case. I'd probably switch out to Talonflame, which can also do it. I mean, I've got like four things that can reliably check or counter it. But man, that was really my mistake, not taking it seriously. And you guys are going to see what I mean, because now let's get to the battle. Like I said before, this battle is against Santi, a good friend of mine, and we... I can't remember if we set it up through a stream or through Skype. I'm going to start off with my Calonflame as he starts off the Rotom. I'm immediately going to double into Floor just as he goes for Fault Switch. This is pretty much a standard... Uh, a, pretty much your standard battle for me. They lead with Rotom, I go into Floor just, they Volt Switch out. He goes into Ferrothorn to try and set up some spikes, goes for Stealth Rocks, and I guess he wants to try and set up some more hazards, or did not think I was ballsy enough to go for the Flare Blitz, but I am, and I do because that thing needs to get out of here. So I take a whole bunch of recoil, which sucks, but, you know, it has to happen. And he goes into his Rotom, and I try and roost off the damage, because I was hoping he'd go for a Volt Switch, which I could take, but he goes for the Hydro Pump, not taking any chances, and knocks me out. Crit did not matter. So now I'm going to go to my Kangaskhan, thinking that I might be able to do some chip damage here, go for Fake Outs, uh, get it just a little bit lower, and I predicted his Gengar to come in, that's why I didn't Mega Evolve. And I'm going to go into my floor, double into my floor just, predicting the Will-O-Wisp. And I just wasn't sure if it was scarfed or not at this point, so I see now it's not, or correct, well, what am I doing? I just saw leftovers. Jeez, stop being stupid, Zabuza. And uh, Lumberry takes care of my burn, but, you know, big no big deal, because I could just, I wouldn't have to deal with a burn anyway. He bolt switches out of, uh, from his Rotom to his Scizor, and I'm going to need to Wish Pass into my Aegis Slash. Now, I didn't need to Wish Pass into Aegis, Aegis Slash, but I did need to switch out. And this is a little bit of a threat for me because Swords Dance, while, yeah, I can take the hits, I resist the hits, um, I'm going to need to go for a Sacred Sword to take it down. And Mega Scizor has a bunch of defense, which I can't really touch it that much. Thankfully, he switches out into his Rotom, though, which does a pretty sizable chunk as he goes for another Will-O-Wisp, and I don't know why I saved and went for another Sacred Sword. I mean, I, that was just a bad move on my part. I don't know what I was thinking, seriously. Uh, so I switch out into my floor disc, which can wall this Rotom all to hell as he goes for another Volt Switch, and eventually I'm going to need a Wish Pass here, otherwise I'm not going to be able to survive. And he sends out his Mammoth Swine, and here's the, my big mistake. He goes for Earthquake, and I leave my floor just in his fodder, and he... I go into Greninja to kill it, but he's scarfed. Holy crap. I mean, I don't remember Scarf Mamoswine ever being a thing, but that really caught me off guard. So I go into my Kangaskhan, which is going to be able to do chip damage and such with fake outs and such. And he goes into his Scizor. I decide to Mega Evolve now, and I'm going to go for that uh, fake out to do some chip damage. Because I know I can take like one hit. Mega Kangaskhan's pretty bulky. And this is actually a good situation for me, because Mega Scizor, I can actually knock out Mega Scizor with Kangaskhan using a combination of fake out. Um, power up punch and then two sucker punches. I've done this. I, I don't. Maybe sometimes it doesn't work, but I've done this enough times against Mega Scizor specifically, like in Showdown, that I know it kill, kills it. So he goes into Rotom. I knock that out with a return, no problem. He goes into his Garchomp. I go for a return, no problem. He did not think I was the Jolly set, so I was able to outspeed him. He goes into his Mammoth Swine again. Goes for the Ice Shard. I did not predict he had the Ice Shard since he was Scarped. And my Sucker Punch fails, which means my Kangaskhan is going to go down, which is unfortunate. I'm going to go into my Tyrantrum to hopefully get some damage off. 
and he goes for another Ice Shard. They're not doing too much, thankfully. And I'm able to get off a Crunch, which does a significant amount of damage and reduces his defense, which means I'm going to be able to do more damage next time. And Ice Shard's just whittling away, but, you know, I am the Impish set, so he can't really knock me out. Um, so Crunch just knocks him out, thankfully, thanks to the defense drop. He goes into his Gengar, which is going to be able to knock me out with one Shadow Ball, no problem. Maybe he's at full. Maybe if I was at full, it would have uh, done less, but no. So I go to my Aegislash as he goes for another Shadow Ball, and it is going to knock me out, unfortunately, and that is the game. So GG, Santi. So on to the talk of the day. Today's talk of the day, I wanted to tell you guys about a new community channel that's starting up. It's called The Kangas Gang, and before you laugh at the name, I am a part of this community channel, and I have already uploaded to it. So I will give you a link to the channel. Make sure to check out the other uploaders there. Uh, they've got some really good content. It's all run by a little group that I'm part of. And yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy that, so make sure to check them out, and that's really all I have to say. This is Trainer Zabuza, and I will see you next time. Be sure to check out the artists that make these videos possible, guys. Also, like and subscribe if you happen to like the video. Or if you'd like some help recording your X and Y battles, shoot me a PM on YouTube or Skype, and I'll get back to you.